we go down there? Or something? I hate that perspective. Come on, camera angle. Is there anything down here? Ooh, a chest. Who puts a chest down here? Destitute clothes. No, you don't recognize. But it is a very fancy looking chest. Alex, you have Vigilance. Drink to gain a plus five bonus initiative. In addition, you can't be surprised. That actually sounds fun. I will probably never use it, but it sounds fun. Okay, up we go again. You're only eating booze. <laughs> Aren't like liquid meals all the hype? <laughs> So I guess the crush we'll... must be nested in oh. that temple. Our cure is close. So I guess liquid meals were all the hype like a few years ago. I think it's already over. Or is it? I can't believe I'm actually venturing into a gith stronghold again, voluntarily. This had better pay off. What would well, could go wrong, right? You know, I'll admit it. This could be a terrible idea, but we don't have much choice. True. We're acting out of desperation. Let's just be careful. Any potential cure is useless if our heads are parted from our shoulders beforehand. They must want that artifact back badly if they're dispatching red dragons in pursuit of it. But we cannot afford to lose it. I wish I'd never been sent on this mission. Oh. I did say the last part. I'm curious about that myself. You'll have to live with that curiosity for now, I'm afraid. I mean, save for her, right? Let's just concentrate on ridding ourselves of these tadpoles. All will be revealed in due time. I hope. Yeah. Uh, last but not least, let's talk to Asarion. Once he joins us. Maybe Asarion just needed a little alone time behind the tree. Which is fine. Yes, darling. We don't judge. Oh. And Asarion doesn't comment. Well. Mm, pressing with just boost gets you an achievement. I know, and I got that like so quickly during my first playthrough. That's <laughs> funny. I tried one time a drink outside, yeah, like a drinkable meal or liquid meal. Um, named this as food, and it tasted not good. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I just like food, like normal food, so I never, re I never even tried it out. Mm. I do see the advantage that it's like quick, but yeah, it, it didn't really sound that nice to me. Ooh, talking bust. Looks like a magic mouth spell. That voice probably belongs to someone long gone. It sounds like they made a last stand. What a thunder rains. Tracts, the rule of three. I think we already read that so many times. We didn't read that need to read that again. Gosh. I'm in general surprised how little Azel is commenting. I mean basically you think you like massacred everyone here. And not that I would assume her to feel like guilty about that. Quite the contrary. Inventory of offerings. An inventory of the food and offerings brought to the monastery and their redistribution to alms seekers. Poor monks. That might be worth a look. Oh, you don't say. Ah. Uh, bonk. Ah. Nice. Uh, top three songs. Raphael's song, The Power, and I Want to Live in that order. Nice. Very good songs. Another rusty mace. So many maces. But I guess it is the go-to cleric weapon, right? The 
Oh, the Legacy of Baal, Raphael's last act. Ooh. I mean, Legacy of Baal is also a really epic film. Gosh, my top three songs. Ah, that's so hard. I know that the songs I listen to the most of the Balls Get Free soundtrack are um, Last Light, which I really love. Um, I Want to Live. And either Weeping Dawn or Down by the River. It's really hard to say which are my top three. They're like way too many songs I love. <laughs> Why is there a random grease bottle lying around here? Mythic Powers, wait from game. Oh, that's also such a great song. In general, I mean, we are talking about like Pathfinder, Rock the Righteous, right? That game has an amazing soundtrack. I also use that like a lot for uh, like DMing. <laughs> we are. <laughs> Just to be sure. Oh hey, here we find more His Holy Blood volumes. Let's start with the beginning. Dawn Master Dover. I think he wasn't part of the riddle, right? Right tool will do the trick. Wait, wrong character. Trust no one. <laughs> we don't want Lavender to look big. Easy. Yeah, plus one or plus ten? Let, let's choose a plus ten. Wow, well, six and six. Good enough. Roll of gusts of winds. Okay, that's a read. This missile describes the holy artifact of Lathanda as penned in a particularly fevered hand. This radiance has failed from our unworthy gazes. Oh, ye lightless wretches. We have failed the morning lord, and I record that failing in the pages of this tome. To think he once stood in our imperfect world, among us imperfect mortals, and felt the villain semester with his holy brilliance. He bled for us, brethren, and we were tasked with locking our gaze eternally upon his blood. We let those gazes falter, and the blood was taken, wrenched from our sight. It is a test, one that this chapel is duty bound to undertake. I pass the keeping of this record along to Paladin Vasaid, chosen in light to find the relic. Paladin, when you look upon the blood, I pray the thunder honors your deeds by burning out your eyes. Okay, let Dude seem to be pretty dutiful. I'll lug my gut through this hell with haste. I gotta say, every time Lavender drops his random dark urge lines, oh boy. <laughs> I'm still a Some little steps. and lost for words. My top three songs are Rafa's Final Act, The Legacy of Baal, and I Want to Live. The Power and Weeping Dawn are also great. <laughs> yeah, really nice songs. Oh, for a skeleton king. It's so sad that Down by the River never plays during the game. If during the full version. Place your heart of mine. Let your sleeping soul take me. His Blood, Volume 2. Paladin, Versailles. This missile charts an expedition to find a lost relic called the Blood of Lathanna. While my eyes remain unscorched, we have made great progress in finding his lost blood. After many suns of searching, I pen this entry as our gaze lies upon a Sharon outpost, nestled among the valleys of the Tian Town. We know the Sharons hold the blood. They dropped a cargo trunk during the transport one eve, and his lid slipped open. It was only a moment, but my shiny adherence, what a moment it was. The entire riverbank aflame with a soothing radiance, the same rosy light of a summer dawn. I could practically hear his, mor his morning song bouncing between the valley walls. We advance upon those heretic nightbringers at the first light of the dawn tomorrow, and shall leave naught but ashes in our wake. Nice! Smite those Sharons! But yeah, it seems that they actually have like literal blood from a god. I wonder if it was like during the time of the Troubles? It was like during the time of Troubles, like. All gods were like made mortal and had to wander like Faerun. I'm 
during that time. Holy blood of Lathander. The blood of Lathander spilled in holy battle with Samaster, immortalized here for all to worship. You know what? Let's just make up the blood of Lathander here, please. It was begging to be stolen. <laughs> Oh, Astarion. You're right, but still. <laughs> Samasta. <laughs> Samasta the Crazy. Seems to be an interesting person. Uh, I just want to find... Destroyed 1373. I think that was during the Time of Troubles. of troubles D, D. we're going to continue in a second no worries how long did it go no i don't think so i think that was already afterwards so lathander came back to to fight him nice um, <laughs> my favorite Deutsch line is still Path my path of corpses built my castle of bones. Never a dull moment. That sounds so. Uh, what was the name? Corn, right? Pockets. Like from Warhammer. I love it, morning, Lord. I must request the theory. Blood for the blood corn. <laughs> <laughs> Mini rib cages. Ooh, a good thing you long saw. this place in a forlorn and forgotten age to lay my eyes upon the blood of Lathander. I listened to it during my three hours of carry creation, it was enough. Oh boy. <laughs> the blood of Lathander is such a great maze. It really is such an amazing item when you find it. The stone disc has Githyanki runes carved into it. Below them is a drawn translation into the common tongue. It is an inventory of items taken by the Githyanki from the Lathanderian monks upon their initial takeover of the monastery, and the subsequent shipment of major valuables back to Turunmar. I mean, given that everything is so overgrown, I guess it must have been like a hundred years or something, right? Ah, uh, it can't be that much longer, actually. Because, I mean, 1373, the Battle of the Thunder happened, and then the blood was spilled, so it must have taken like quite a long time for the monastery to be built. Like, I don't know, like a decade. That's curious. So it's like one hundred years less. Also, in the time of travels, Bar died, and he did foresee that and made a lot of bars for. Hmm. Purple Flourish Heart. Huh. Action? You can use it? Ah, apparently not. I was like, what do you use it for? Account of the establishment of Crash Elac. The stone disc has Githyanki runes carved into it. I'm not going to read that again. It is an account of the takeover of Rosimon Monastery by the Githyanki contingent. Many supplies found. Local area good for hunting more. Grimishka infestation, but there will be no trouble, and indeed will be useful in deterring unwanted visitors. Rosimon Monastery is it called, but it seems these monks have plenty hidden away beneath the surface. Lots of valuable goods to be found underground, can be traded off after bats, bits are shipped back. The treasure room will be proof of fitting location for the establishment of a military intelligence office. It seems to already have good defenses. Should station Inquisitor walk grass, he be able to Keep Berizin on his sump, Mila Rihal. No time to rest. I'm here, how's BG going? Hey Kirito, how are you? How was your stream? How was Kingdom Hearts? And BG is going great as always. I would say my brain is even more messy than usual, but I think it's going a little bit more organized right now compared to the beginning. <laughs> There was a boss born chinchilla in BG2. Wait, what? Do, do I want to ask how that one was created or are we not asking questions? Considering he can make boss born for basically nothing. 
from basically nothing. Yeah. I'm trying everything, right? So. Let's say hi to Kanki. I mean, what could go wrong? And why are you so silent, Lazel? You must have questions. I do. Why are you silent? Hmm. Actually, a very fancy robe. Kind of look like a mage robe with a little bit of metal. Are you even a mage? I don't think you're. What are you? You have potent cantrip, but also an extra attack. Are you a cleric? Anyway, maybe multi class. So that's progress. Uh, good and bad. Got to stop playing it, but create a pool to replace the game. Oh no! Why do you have to stop playing it? Sorry to hear that. Sentries to arms! Istic! State your purpose quickly! Even the goblins Stand were nicer. Down, Gish. Is it not Vlacket's command to welcome her faithful? I expected no visitors, faithful or otherwise. Why have you come? The silence must be some type of glitch so odd. Yeah, I remember that Lazelle was like talking way more the first time I went here with her. Ooh. Let's embrace the dark earth. My purpose is to reap death upon you. I'm an unmatched killer. You want me as your ally. Uh, 18. That's not that low. Come on, we can do this. Nice. The sentry considers you for a moment, assessing the risk you pose. Wanna try? Very Wanna well. try me? Perhaps Inquisitor Wawargaz could use the aid of an adventurer. Seek the Inquisitor within. Step lightly, Istik. He's not known for his lenience. Yeah, I guess Lazar would have been happier if we allowed her to talk. <gasps> and we gotta level up! I didn't see that coming! I thought it would take like way longer. Nice. But I mean, we are on very good terms with Lazel, so I think that's fair. Not as good as Shadowheart, but hey. So, it's level up time! Uh, copyright hit hard on the VOD, so I had to stop. Aww. Does that also cause, like, does copyright also cause issues, like, why you're streaming it, or just, like, later on? But yeah, that sucks. Sorry to hear that. Because you seem to be really looking forward to streaming it. Okay, what spell are we going to learn as Lavender? Yeah, as usual, but level 3 spells are not that great. You could go just for heat metal. I also can't learn like fog cloud or something like that. We could learn silence. But I think it's not that nice. You usually don't need that that much. Using this spell might turn targets hostile. Oh! Regarding the darkness of the fog cloud, I think what actually makes a difference is that we're playing a tactician. So people like react more to spells. And like usually like more hostile. Ah, but we also have heat metal always prepared. Taking invisibility also feels odd. Blindness. You know what? We're taking invisibility. Here we go. Change something? I don't think so. Here we go. Nice. 
even more spells off for smiting. Also, nobody can explain Kingdom Hearts lore in less than a presentation of one hour. Yeah, seems like it. That's basically the first thing I heard about Kingdom Hearts. It's complicated. Mm. Stillness of Mind. If your Charmed or Frightened, you automatically cast Stillness of Mind to remove the condition. What does Stillness of Mind do? Remove Charmed or Frightened. Doesn't that basically mean, like, you're immune to Charmed or Frightened? Oh well, we do take it. Evasion. When a spell or effect would deal half damage on a successful deck so save, it deals no damage if you succeed, and only half damage if you fail. Oh, that's really nice. Rogues also get that. Uh, I think I like my spells, so we're just keeping them. Yeah, Shadow Heart. Ooh, level 4 spell. I love it. Um, yeah, we don't need to speak with that. Banishment, freedom of movement. Snap an ally out of any stun, difficult terrain, can't slow them down, and they can't be magically paralyzed or restrained. If the target is restrained by non-magical means, it can spend one and a half meters of movement to free itself. That's cool. It's also really cool that it, like, lasts until end of long rest. Death Ward can also be pretty nice. Let's take those two. You know what? I don't think we're going to use them often. But we can now. It's okay, it just means another fun game. I mean, that's like a positive way to look at it. So sorry you ran into that issue. So, Astarion. Uh, we can also go for freedom of movement. Could go for greater visibility. Like, great invisibility, unlike Lazelle, and she's a menace. Let's take great invisibility, I like that one. Alright! Level 7! And at level 8, Lavender's getting the multi attack. Really looking forward to that. Indolence breeds madness. There is work to do. Yeah, nice. At least things have stayed interesting. And hey, we could think you're not like automatically killing us on site, so I'd say that's neat. Unfortunately, we also can't touch stuff. And yeah, remember that character in the first act? I mean, we're still in the first act, technically. Elika, the ranger tiefling who didn't want to join us. Yeah. Poor girl. Wonder if the gods are watching me. Let's see if Lazel says something now. This place is enlightening. My own crash, Kalea, is remote and sunless, cloaked in the silence of wild space. My Savage would find this one altogether too genial. It doesn't sound fun to live in a Githyanki crash. Food. Honestly, I don't love walking into a den of killer gith warriors. You Especially don't. not with the you know what's still wriggling in our heads. The gith probably think decapitation is a perfectly reasonable cure. You know, Astarion, compared to lots of other things you say, that is actually really reasonable. If this place is as inviting as other aspects of Gith Yankee culture, we'll be in for an interesting time to say the least. Yeah, visiting a Gith Yankee crash seems like one of the worst ideas. But hey, here we are. What could go wrong? You may proceed. You may proceed to the crash. And I mean, also, I mean. What we're we going to see if you grow up in a place like this, Any word on you the do not wonder how Lazelle become you. like she is. Words of... Stop meddling where you aren't wanted, Istic. Excuse me? I, I just said hi. Any word on the I heard Are they're you... making us join the patrol soon. Is it saying that this all was just like a treasure room, like the treasury of this monastery? Oh. What are you talking about? What if they don't find the weapon? 
Do we even know it? Anistic? But... But you can't be here! I can't be seen with you! That's your cry! Quanny Rel, the Inquisition have more to worry about than who you talk to in the corridors. I really like our adamantine armors. They do look quite nice. And yeah, I remember first time I went here, I was like, oh, are they also looking for, like, um, the Blood of Lothanda? But I mean, they're still searching for the weapon they were talking about, like, at the bridge, if you remember that. So basically, our artifact. Yeah, I love how many Dark Arch options we get here. Oh gosh, look at the late letter. Tell me the Inquisition's purpose, or I make mince pulp of you younglings. And I'm not here to harm you either. Or can you tell me more? See? <laughs> I told you. Nothing to worry about. She's Go in her quarters. Through those doors. But they also didn't tell us more. Damn it. The Kithrak will welcome news from beyond the crash. Good news at least. I guess we missed our chance by being too nice. Um, I'd say let's start with the left path. Such a lack of discipline would be punished severely in Kalir. <laughs> That's like a lovely place, Lazel. Look freely. This place is as tight as a patriarch's purse. We should have been disarmed on entry. At least we weren't, but it's strange. And I'm also concerned that Lazel is concerned. <laughs> sure, I'll start here. Now Istik wander our halls at their leisure. Captain Therizan will be even more irate than usual. 